This is Wish 2 News at 4 in high definition. Getting a jump now on our Commitment 2010 political coverage. Tonight we focus on the leading Democrat in the race for the U.S. Senate seat here in Florida. Wish 2 political reporter Greg Fox tells us Kendrick Meek has a steep climb to get people to know who he is and aims to make political history while he's at it. Thank you, man. Thank Congressman you so Kendrick Meek of Miami was trying to build name recognition for his Senate run at this Labor Day picnic in South Daytona. Honor all of you that know what it means to punch in and punch out or sign in. Appealing to the working class, Meek supports President Obama's health care overhaul, including a public option, one that Republican Senate candidate Governor Charlie Crist has panned. Enough is enough. And in this state, we have a lot of folks that are uninsured, which is driving up calls for those of us that are. Meek has proven he's feisty. As a state senator in 2000, he staged a sit-in at then-Governor Jeb Bush's office to oppose any affirmative action at state colleges. It's that kind of moxie that lands support from voters like Crystal Frazier. So I think that he will represent the county, the city, the state, the Senate, just as well as Obama's doing. Meek's okay. biggest challenge well, is name you. recognition. A recent poll shows Chris there. beating Meek 48% to 29%, but with 23% of voters favoring other candidates or undecided. In order to try to boost his name recognition, Kendrick Meek is trying to do something that's never been done before, and that is qualifying for the Senate by having people sign these petitions. That way he qualifies by petition instead of having to pay the qualifying fee. Okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's all about you. <laughs> In Volusia County, Greg Fox, West 2 News. The U.S. Senate seat Meek is seeking was vacated today by Republican Mel Martinez. Republican Governor Charlie Crist has already appointed his former campaign manager, George Lemieux, who will be sworn in this week but has declared he will not seek election to the job next year.